kids, we're going to talk about mitosis. The first step of mitosis is interphase. So basically interphase is when the cell enlarges. So think about if some, if had, if there was a couple who broke up. So for instance, we think of interphase as if the person finds out they're cheating, so they eat a ton of ice cream and they gain a little weight, just like an interphase. And then their chromosomes uncoil, like their emotions. Next is prophase, and this is when the nucleus and membrane and nucleoids disappear, like their excess stuff. And then the chromosomes coil up, like her, emo like her emotions. And then we go on to metaphase, in which the chromosomes line up to the equator, just like how her friends get her back in line. Yes, girl! Yes, girl! Move the tissue, because you don't need that anymore. Alright, so next is anaphase, which begins the separation of the chromosomes, which is basically when she starts to move on from her significant other. The final phase is telophase, where the nuclear membrane starts to form around each set of chromosomes. Basically, that means she's getting herself back together. Go. This is a deal. Yo. So, here we have meiosis. This is prophase one, and replicated chromosomal pairs join at the centromere. They pair side by side called synapses, and they cross over, and the nucleus starts to disappear, and the spindle forms. So this is when you have your mind together, and everything's going good. Then we have metaphase, where chromosomes line up at the equatorial plane, the spindle fibers attached to the chromosomes. So here, you realize, oh wow, things are starting to not be good. I'm starting to like realize I have two different personalities going on here. And then we have anaphase one, where the chromosomes migrate to their opposite poles of the spindle. And this is where it really comes obvious that, man, things are getting wild. And then we have telophase one, where we have the nuclear membrane forms around each set of chromosomes. And cytokinesis separates parent cell into two daughter cells. And here... Everybody starts to know you know how to write the same personality. And then we have the two daughter cells, where this is the nice personality, and that one's just not, that one's just messed up. So in meiosis 2, um, the beginning stage, prophase 2, the loss of the nuclear membrane and nucleolus, spindle formation, and the appearance of rod-shaped chromosomes appear. So for example, let's take two groups of friends, or two friends, and everything's going good, everybody's having a great time. And then we move to metaphase two. The chromosomes lining up at the equator of the spindle. Each chromosome includes two sister chromatids joined together at the cell, at the centromere that is attached to a spindle fiber. So, you know, the friends start arguing a bit. They're still together, but they start arguing a bit. Then, the, in anaphase two, the separation of centromeres. The sister chromatids, now called daughter chromosomes, move towards opposite poles of the spindle. They start arguing. They're like, I don't want to be near you anymore. We're going to split. Then in telephotos, too, um, the proceeds to form the nuclei and cytokinesis divides the cell to form two haploid daughter cells. They have completely decided that they are done with each other. They can no longer be in the same room, and they are deciding to split. Thank you. The difference between mitosis and meiosis is the spelling of the two words, and then there's also other differences. Um, mitosis takes place in both haploid and diploid cells, while meiosis takes place only in diploid cells. Uh, mitosis, the full process, at the end it only forms two cells overall. Uh, with meiosis, because there's meiosis 1 and 2, it forms four cells. And then the last difference is going to be the have the same genetic composition in mitosis. But meiosis, since it forms gametes, it's going to be different genetic uh, compo yeah. composition for, uh, for each daughter cell.